Hello, I am Test Drive, and welcome to episode 14 of Project Gotham Racing 3. In this episode, we're doing the Tokyo Drivers Trophy. We have three events to do, all in Tokyo, which has a very, very nice color scheme, if I do say so myself. Right there, we have a time versus kudos breakthrough and a time run, so this should be fairly sm small, short. Small file size is close as I can think of. That's close to that. And... I kind of want to use the XJ220, I'm not going to lie. Let's do it. And... We shall... Oh, white looks really good. Hmm, we're going to go with white. And we shall put it right here. And continue. And... I have unlocked a new barn. Or new barn. A new garage. And there we go. So that should provide space for the rest of this series and we'll go ahead and get started all righty let's go hey the uh the marker lights are actually working in this car that's nice this is time versus kudos isn't it yeah all right yeah so far this car is not very slippery i'm not gonna lie How much time can I save? That's a good question. That I just asked myself, like somebody else was asking me. I'm gonna assume a minute is what we can save. Oh shit! Go! Oh. <laughs> uh oh. I gotta like keep a constant. Oh, we're good. Aha! Eat pui pui. Pui pui? I think I was about to say that. Whatever. There we go. One by eight seconds. And still had a few seconds left in the, the good old saved bank as well. So we were Gucci. And we are still Gucci. Yes, I know what a time versus kudos is. One thing I'm really glad, uh, after seeing, you know, after playing this game for a while and other games, I'm very, very glad that some newer games have the ability to just go straight from race to race, like load from one race into the next race, instead of having to go back to the menu, pick a car, and then go back into the race or whatever. It's a very nice feature that I definitely miss from newer games, which is strange to say. All right. Looks like we're going to be doing all this stuff at night time, so I might as well take a screenshot for the thumbnail right about now. I really like doing these things on corners, but then I always screw myself over while I do it on corners. Let's see, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to just do a little bit of that. Put this right about there. I like also doing this during the videos because it's like you could see my whole thro thought process of making a thumbnail which to be fair is just literally find a spot where part of the car is in the light if it's oh god it's that turn again if the car is in daylight find a spot that isn't shaded uh find a corner of the car that isn't shaded take a picture of a corner of the car so on and so forth there's not a huge amount of diversity in my thumbnails, but I like, you know, I know a lot of people like to see different cars in, in older games and stuff, so I try and use as many cars as I can, and I definitely make the, whatever car it is the main focus of the thumbnail, so people are like, oh, this is cool. I'm I, Somebody's using the Jaguar XJ220 in Project Gotham Racing 3. I want to see a video of that. At least that's my thought process. To be fair, though, I did not do that at the end of PGR 2. That was a wall. Uh, at the end of PGR 2, specifically because I couldn't take uh, replays. That was the only reason I didn't have like replay thumbnails 
as the thumbnails in the last few parts of PGR2. Because the game was like, hey, you want to you wanna have a th uh, replay in time attack mode? Nah, we can't do that. I could have done it in other ways, but eh, I was too lazy. I used pretty much like every car of the game too that I had unlocked at that point as well. Give me all of your kudos and credits. I keep forgetting that kudos and credits are separate entities on this game. Kind of similar to how kudos tokens are different from kudos in PGR2. These are the only two games out of the series, though, that actually have weird. Well, it's like half the games, but still. PGR4, kudos are used for buying things, I'm pretty sure. Like, in the, in the store, you buy, like, packs of cars and crap. And I think it's just kudos in PGR1. Okay. And speaking of PGR1, I'm pretty sure I've probably mentioned this before. Uh, but a PGR1 Let's Play will probably come after... I get a new Xbox of some sort because I'm not playing through it on the Xbox 360 again and there's no other way really to do it because there's no Xbox emulators that actually work correctly on more than one or two different games which are not PGR1 uh, and the Xbox 360 has huge huge slowdowns on frame rate uh, if you don't believe me Go watch my original Let's Play of it on my old channel. It's pretty bad. I think you probably just search Project Gotham Racing Let's Play and it should come up maybe? Because I'm one of the very, 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 very small amount of people that have actually done a Let's Play of that game on YouTube. I'm also, I think, one of the only, if not the only person that's played through all four Project Gotham Racing games on YouTube. I feel... Oh, this is a sharper turn I thought it was. I feel proud about that fact, too. I say as I'm... Like, halfway... Oh, fuck. Go! I'm, like, halfway through this game. And I didn't really technically finish PGR1. Because... I was like, yeah, this is difficult. Too, too difficult for me. Fuck this. Because it's one of those games where you kind of have to just grind to get the fastest cars because you cannot win easily at all on the last races uh, without having some of the fastest cars in the game. So, yeah, I was kind of SOL myself. To be fair, though, I finished everything that was available from the start. There was just one single little portion of the career that I did not finish at the end of the game. And as I've mentioned in the past, I am not a 100% completionist. I will play through a game uh, basically until I feel like there's an end that I can say is an end. Which is why I didn't do what I didn't 100% Midnight Club LA or Midnight Club LA Remix. Uh, and not even talking about like collectibles and stuff. I'm talking about like just physical story missions that I didn't finish completely. Storage sense. What are you talking about, Windows? Oh, my C drive is very low on space. Hmm. Might have to fix that at some point. Uh... There we go. Championship is complete. 280,000. It actually went back down, strangely enough. Anyways, we'll continue on in the next episode on to an Eliminator World Cup and so on and so forth. So thank you all so much for watching, and I shall see you all in the next episode.